morning of February 5th, 1978, the Baltimore County Police Department received a call about a body in Lincoln Park. This park is known for the amount of bodies buried under its dirt. The police made their way out to the location. The body turned out to be 50-year-old actor Vin Diesel. He was found bludgeoned to death by a rock, a rock that was left at the crime scene. The Baltimore County Police Department conducted an investigation of the murder, but came up with no suspects, so the case turned cold. We just never thought it was a one-off. We never thought it, it would be like this. On September 30th, 1978, the Boston County Police Department got another call about a new body 30 minutes away from Lincoln Park. The police arrived on scene to discover the body of 44-year-old actor John Cena. Similar to Mr. Diesel's case, he was found bludgeoned to death by a rock which was found at the crime scene. Even more disturbing, Mr. Cena's body was found with small rocks surrounding him. Then, on October 29, 1978, DJ Khaled was found dead in an alley 45 minutes away from Lincoln Park. He was bludgeoned with what was now the serial killer's signature weapon, a rock. Khalid's body was found with rocks stacked on top of his body. We caught him by chance. One of the officers out on watch for speeding stopped his really nice car as it was going 90 and a 30. I mean, you do you, man, but the cop on duty turned his lights on and started the chase. The car eventually pulled over and when the cop looked into the car, he saw something. There was something very disturbing about these murders that the police never released to the public. He took their guns. The officer arrested him and brought him down to the station. State your name. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And why do you think you're in here for? For the art piece you happened to find in my car. Art piece? That was an arm. Where's the arm from? It's an art piece made to resent the death of capitalism. It was bleeding. It's a part of the artwork. You know what? I'm going to send that to our analyst. We're going to get the DNA off it and we're going to figure out where it's from. Well, the only DNA you're going to find is of the artist. Of the artist? And my own, because I touched it, obviously, to put into my car. Mm. So, we're gonna take your fingerprints and we're not gonna match them to anything, right? Well, you'll match them to the arm because I had to touch it to put it into my car. Well, we've got this unknown fingerprint and we're gonna figure out if it's yours. What's it on? A rock. A rock? Yes! Your name is The Rock! Uh, excuse you. you, you are sullying my good name. You know where that rock is from? Where? Three different murders. So what? Somebody could be mimicking me. Hmm? Mimicking? Why would they be mimicking you? I don't if know. You never they're trying to pin the blame on me. a copycat? They're trying to pin the blame on me. Well, where is that band-aid from? What's under it? I uh, broke a glass in my house and it scratched my hand. That's mm. why it was band-aid. Yeah. Not mm. from anybody's nails? No, of course not. Are you, sure? uh, Are you sure? Definitely, for sure. Yep. Mm. Definitely for sure. I thought, yep. Why aren't you looking me in the eyes? Because this is making me nervous. You're getting all up in my business. What? Do you want me to stand back? That's not how we do things here. Yeah, I'd actually prefer if you did. Uh, no, I'm you know, staying closer. Excuse you? Do you know who I am? Yeah, I'm, you're the rock. Yeah. You're a murderer. No, you need to respect me. I'm a celebrity. You know how many movies I've been in. I don't care how many movies you've been in. Not even with the Fast and Furious franchise. I have more money than you could ever dream of. Oh, well, I think you murdered those three people. I, I did a serial killer. I didn't murder them. Yo, I'm Kanye West. You know me. We already know that. When I think about who could have killed these dudes, you know, I don't know their names because I don't really care. But when I think about who could have done it, I think about myself, honestly. Like, that should have been me. Why didn't I think of that? I mean, again, I don't really care for them. I don't even know who they are, because you know they're dead. They're just pretty boring and irrelevant. But the killer? Yeah, it should have been me.
Last year, Chunk of Muscles, I know this is forever, right? And that's why I was so confused when the news came on, because I never seen this out of Dwayne. When would that happen, you know? It's just, I, I wouldn't believe it. And then, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, yeah, he did have such a rough childhood, but still, man, you just don't believe it. But, I mean, I guess, I guess his mom did beat him around when she was still around. And his dad, when he was home, which was often more times than the mom, well, he kept Dwayne locked in the basement for days. So, you know, well, who knew that could affect a person, you know? The child never happened. The rock was killed before he could. His death launched him into fame he couldn't even imagine. Fangirls were going crazy over him. He was the talk of the town. Oh, oh, Dwayne. You see, did he kill those people? Maybe. Does it matter? No, because at the end of the day, he makes good movies, and he's just a great guy, you know? Did he cut off their arms? Sure. Jury's still out on that one. But the thing is, you know, as he would say, it's about drive, it's about power, and if they couldn't handle that drive and that power, they knew it was coming. He's muscular enough that if they didn't want to mess with him, they shouldn't have messed with him. So that's why they were dead now. Um, but yeah, you see, you know, it's, it's all about, I'm sure he would just say, you know, you're welcome.